The Biden White House is jubilant over its infrastructure framework, calling it historic. So why are the 17 Republicans who voted to advance the bill throwing Biden a lifeline? Here now is one of those 17 Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. Senator, this is a trillion dollar bill at a time we're facing massive mm -hmm. inflation, other pressures. And President Trump said, yeah. you guys have made a terrible deal that Republicans are big losers here and that the Democrats are the big winners. So yeah. why is he wrong? I think he's wrong because he had a bill for $1.7 trillion infrastructure spending, which I supported. We could never get it done. This is $1.2 trillion for roads, bridges, and ports. And if you don't think we've got a road, bridge, and port problem, you're not looking at America the way it is. The $3.5 trillion bill they want to follow on with is socialism. But count me in for road, bridges, and ports paid for. I understand what I'm for and I understand what I'm against. And I think America you think wins it's the same if we do economy? an infrastructure bill. You think this is the same economy as it was when President Trump was was in office, that inflationary pressures that we're seeing today have no effect on the spending and that this is not a glide path to make sure. at least $3 trillion sure. no, in spending good. possible? It gives a huge win to the White House. They're thrilled. Yeah. Yeah, I really don't believe that at all. It was about me. We're, we're spending the money in that years. It's deinflationary. We're putting money aside for an eight-year uh, road bridge port plan to upgrade what I just said, that doesn't create inflation. What creates inflation is a three and a half trillion dollar bill What's that's just get? big government spending with tax increases. I don't know. We'll see. I see. Me and you differ on this. I think America needs right. infrastructure. I am for it. I think America doesn't need socialism. I'm against it. But why didn't you, I Senator, for, why didn't you, Pat, I'm against why, but Senator, why didn't you do what Pelosi played hardball and you guys rolled over? Why didn't you say we'll vote on infrastructure right. once you show your hand on the three point five trillion? Why are we giving the, the leverage to the Democrats well, on the process? Pelosi's like, we're not doing that. We're doing it the other way. And you guys are like, OK, yeah, th we'll just, we'll just do the infrastructure I, yeah, I first. You, uh, yeah, I think you nailed something. So follow this. It's going to pass the Senate. Uh, with, with Democratic and Republican support. The three and a half trillion dollar bill won't get any Republican support. What does Nancy Pelosi do? Does she hold a bipartisan bill hostage? Does she get the, does she gets the three and a half trillion dollar socialist wish list? Good luck with that, Nancy. She's going to merge the two bills and I think it collapses in the House. And it'd be a shame if we can't do something good for America because she wants three and a half trillion dollars to socialize the country. We'll see how this plays out in the House. But you, so you think the order of these bills was correct, doing the infrastructure first and then letting them tackle the $3.5 trillion, which she said that, yeah, that's yes, not going to fly? But, uh, okay. Well, in the Senate, I think, I, I think Cinema and Manchin are going to be less likely to do a $3.5 trillion bill if we can do a bipartisan bill for a trillion dedicated to real infrastructure. We'll see how that plays out. I think Nancy Pelosi's making a big mistake. She's going to insist that the socialist bill pass first. Good luck with that. And she's going to throw the bipartisan bill all over and hold it hostage. And I hope Kevin McCarthy will hold the troops and say, we're not going to play that game. All right, Senator, we hope it, uh, we hope it works out that way. I don't, I don't think Joe Manchin's going to, I don't think he's going to be standing up against anything here, but thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.